but again, living with that name could not have been easy. We've arrived at the main event. Let's check out the tail of the tape. We've talked about the clash of styles, but both these fighters trying to move up, and Goichi Yamauchi is so experienced. It's as easy to get 11 and 3 to 27 and 5. We're talking about nine submission wins for Naaman Gracie at 82%, and 21 submission wins for Yamauchi at 78%. Both these guys on the ground are phenomenal. The name, the legacy, the stakes at welterweight. It is main event time. That's Michael C. Williams time. Bellator MMA live on Showtime from the Sanford Pentagon here in Sioux Falls. The time has come for tonight's main event. Five five-minute rounds in the welterweight division. Sanctioned by the South Dakota Athletic Commission at Cage Side, Chairman Mike Kilmer. And now, introducing the blue corner first. At 5'10", weighing in 170 pounds even, looking to establish himself now as a welterweight. He brings a veteran, 27 professional victories with five losses. From uh, Curitiba, Bahana, Brazil, presenting Goichi Yamauchi. <laughs> And across the cage, his adversary fighting out of the red corner. At six foot, weighing in 170.4 pounds, the former title challenger enters tonight, ranked number five, holding 11 professional victories, along with three defeats from uh, Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Introducing Neymar, the Lion Gracie. The referee in charge, Jason Herzog. Fighters have gone over the rules in the back. There were no questions from you, Blue. There were no questions from you, Red. You've already touched gloves. Come out ready to fight. Three losses for Naaman Gracie against Logan Storley, Jason Jackson, Rory McDonald. Wrestling was a factor in all three of them. Does Goichi Yamauchi have that kind of game? Well, are you ready? Will this be the clinic we think it's going to be, or are these two guys about to surprise us? And the other element, John, five rounds. Absolutely, huge difference in that. Like I said before, Naaman has been there in the past. It is an unknown for Yamauchi. Three times Naaman Gracie's been in a five-round fight. This is the first in this first main event for Goichi Yamauchi. Professional fight number 33. You notice right now, David Gracie actually putting Yamauchi on his back foot, moving him backwards. Yamauchi is trying to take that away by utilizing lateral movement. Everybody enjoys a knockout win when you're a fighter, but when Neymar Gracie knocked out Mark Leminger, there's that little extra for Gracie to record a knockout win. He was just a little happier than normal. That's just because you just don't expect it. Yep. You think it's going to be a submission. And then when all of a sudden he lands big shots and all of a sudden someone's going down, you go, oh my god, he's got stand up too. Look, left cross from Yamauchi. That stunned Neymar a little bit. all the conversation before the fight about what's going to happen when these two guys get on the ground. Well, got to get there first. <laughs> you said Yamauchi has been patient. Naaman's been pretty clear that he wants the fight there, but again, he's in no hurry. Uchi at this point has been much more offensive and successful with that offense being in the southpaw position. You just saw it, paid off there, and Yamauchi, yep, the right got through. And there's the takedown. I said, based upon if one of the guys gets hurt, that's when you're going to see Yamauchi actually say, I'll go to the ground. 
is recently retired again. Legendary Ric Flair used to say, now we go to school. This is what everybody wanted to see. Well, that left hand has been money, be it in the southpaw position or from the orthodox for Yamauchi. He's been able to land that left hand, and that's where he has his power. And it was a jab that put Grayson down. Conversation about the jujitsu and none about the stand up. Well, when you got two guys, <laughs> of course, it may, but it, it, the best, you got to go with what they do and what they're good at, but it, you're almost canceling each yep. other out. That's it. Two magicians. Huh? Is this your card? Yeah, I believe this is your rabbit. Like, they've seen it all. Taking the worst of it here. Name Grace is stand up. You can see he is where, where has he gotten better? Where he's gotten much better. He's always had a good chin, you know, and the fact that, you know, Yamuchi put him down, but he was able to survive the position, get himself back to his feet. But it is in his ability not to only use punches. He's gotten better with his kicks, and he brings, especially when he gets into that clinching range, he brings elbows, he brings up good angles that end up hurting his opponent. So this stand-up has improved by leaps and bounds during his time here in Beltray. When he came to Beltray, he was nothing more than a jujitsu fighter. Now he's a complete mixed martial artist. Half-hearted attempt by Gracie on the level change. Half-hearted swing with the right hand. A very strong opening round for Gorgi Amaruchi. Gorgi Amaruchi said, the Gracies have made me what I am today. That is, it's not respect, it's reverence for the family, for their accomplishments, and for the way they have carried themselves. Come into play yet. You made the point earlier about leg locks and the lack of training. And that we've become accustomed to saying, well, Goichi Yamauchi, he wasn't trained leg locks, he doesn't go with them. There's Gracie goes to the ground, let's see if Goichi can keep it there. But the point that I think people miss is that if you're not training them, you're also not training defending them. That's exactly it. That's the whole point. Is when, when you're not being that guy that's learning how to do these techniques and do them from a variety of positions and everything, you're also not working on your defense against them. Where Gracie has worked at being a very good leg lock specialist, Yamauchi in his jujitsu path has been more of the traditional upper body. to the guard, said the spider to the fly. But this is not an ordinary fly. I was going to say, yeah, well, this is a fly that has some ideas, but you've got to be careful of that up here. Norman will talk about, you want to bring those hips in front of that chin to make it where it's difficult for Naaman to get that type of kick off. The real, one of the problems for, that I've seen for Naaman in the stand-up, like I said, with the southpaw, Yamauchi keeps on getting, look at the foot position, and he keeps on getting that foot to the outside of Naaman Gracie's, meaning he's winning that position in the lap. That's allowing him to land that straight left or that kick. 
Yamauchi has been much more efficient, much more straight ahead with the stand-up on the line. As he let Naomi Gracie get up, it kind of made me wonder. I know Elias doesn't keep stats like that. How many fighters Goichi Yamauchi has just voluntarily let get up from the ground? Not a whole lot. <laughs> I and, think. It, and it's one of the things in this position many times. Wow, that was easy. Goichi is not the guy looking for the takedown. He will allow himself to be taken down by guys because he feels so comfortable off of his back. Here, he's not putting himself in that position. We've seen that meme, right? The two Spider Men <laughs> pointing to each other. He's come very close to taking a monster shot on that upkick. Take a look at where his chin position is compared to where his hips are at. When you're leaning over there, you're, he's aware of it. He knows, but you got to be careful. That's see, see how he starts to bring his hips forward. That's him saying, okay, I'm not going to put myself in a position for you to be able to land that kick. Hammond <laughs> says, come on. Let's do this. Let's give everybody what they wanted to see. Well, if, you know, in actuality, Yamauchi has landed a couple of kicks, but Gracie's landed the better kicks from the bottom than Yamauchi has from the standing. I don't think people are trained yet to see those as offensive as they really are. Nice jab. Better jabs here. Good jab. Goichi just put his hands down. Goichi's trying to take him off the top of his forehead. Oh, the back up cut cut. gets through. That was huge. And it's over. Yamauchi dropped his guard and then he dropped Naaman Gracie. What an uppercut that landed so clean. And Goichi Yamauchi writes his own chapter against the family that wrote the book. It was almost like he was baiting him in with by putting his hands down and taking that jab that Naaman was able to land. He was basically baiting him to just keep on coming forward, knowing he was going to launch that uppercut. And Naaman Gracie has been stopped for the first time in his career. Let's take a look. Watch, watch what Goichi does. He gets hit here a couple times, and then look at the forehead. He keeps on dipping his forehead down, trying to go ahead. Come on, bring that, bring that to me, bring that to me, and watch when Naaman extends out. Watch the uppercut. Bang, bang, right on the button. John, Goichi Yamauchi had no fear or respect for the jab of Damon Gracie, and that's what set this up. No, not at all, boy. And he set, the, he set that uppercut up. He knew exactly what he was looking for. He waited as Gracie started to come in a little bit hot. Boom. To Michael C. Williams. Ladies and gentlemen, in tonight's main event, it comes to an end. Three minutes, 58 seconds into round number two. The winner by knockout, Goichi Yamauchi. A moment. And now another as Goichi Yamauchi stands victorious with Big John McCarthy. I'm here with your winner, Goichi Yamauchi. You said this was going to be a stand-up battle. You said we're both too good on the ground. I'm going to make this a stand-up fight. You were able to make it a stand-up fight throughout. But I thought it was your switching from southpaw to orthodox, and especially your southpaw stance that gave him some problems. Yeah, um, we try to be not, you know, like unidimensional fighter so uh, I think uh, this is one of my styles in changing softball to orthodox and uh, thank God I could I could get this knockout I'm very um, very happy this is like I said before in, in the interviews um this is very meaningful not just because of the, my first main event but fight fighting against a, a Gracie Neiman is a hell of a fighter one of the best fighters and grapplers in the world in the history so um, I have no words to describe this moment.
Let's talk about the moment before you landed that because that knockout shot because he was hitting you. He started to come with a lot of steam towards you. You actually started putting your hands down and dipping your forehead, saying, "Go ahead, bring it, bring it." Were you setting up knowing you were going to bring that uppercut? Yeah, um, in, you know, in the competition, I I used to be very uh, defensive fighter, but this time I um, triple G style, big drama show. I like it. I do it in the. In, the, in my sparring sessions, and that's what I did today. I, I like to do it. You just took out a top five fighter in the welterweight division. You're going to be in that position in the rankings. Who is it that you should be facing in this cage the next time you step in here? Well, um, everybody that they're above me in the rankings, um, I'm sure these guys are, are watching today. So uh, one of these guys is what I, I don't want to fight. I don't, I don't want, you know. I just fought Neiman, and I want to I want to fight these guys, all those guys, to to still climb up to the rankings and being a, a, a title contender, and then welterweight world, world champion. This is my my destiny. It sounds good. Congratulations on a huge win, beautiful knockout win, ladies and gentlemen. Put your hands together for Goichi Yamauchi.